idiot. What is going on guys? Will here. Welcome to the video. Today I decided to go somewhere new and warm. Sure, I've gone down south a number of times, but never to Mexico. And while I'm quite familiar with the supplements that they export, there's still a lot about the culture I don't know. So today I'm going to be making some recipes, trying out some of the activities and products from there. So I'm excited. You should be too. So let's do it. So for breakfast today, we are actually following a recipe. We are making pan scrambled eggs with poblano peppers and green salsa. So Mexico is one of the biggest producers and consumers of eggs in the entire world. They make their way into many different types of dishes. So the first thing that we have to do is dice up some onions and some poblano peppers, which is one of the most popular peppers in Mexico. And then we're gonna start frying them up. The last component of this dish is to add the salsa verde to the bowl. So salsa verde is a combination of chilies, tomatoes, and a variety of other spices. So we're gonna go a third of a cup into the bowl. And this actually dates all the way back to the Aztec Empire, which is a pretty fun fact. So we're gonna lay the eggs on top of this little bath of salsa verde, and that's our breakfast. I tell you what, this breakfast is turning me on, not sexually. This dish just looks like one of those like TikTok viral recipe things. And on the side I have some Mexican coffee which stands out for its chocolatey candy bar like notes and its ability to carry a nutty like sweetness which is very intriguing to me. I will say I'm getting a slight candy bar note. Very, very subtle. Just like me, it's a over before you know it kind of thing. But very, very good. So let's get into the star of the show here. Just looks like such a fun dish but I'm all about taste, not fun. And if this sauce is good, my sheets are gonna be green tonight. I'm telling you that. That is confusing me in ways that I did not anticipate. There's a lot of stuff going on. It's like sweet, very, very mild. Oh, that salsa verde is making its way into the sauce rotation, that is for sure. Very low in calories too, so Katie will be pleased. So today's day of eating is gonna act as like a test for Chipotle's authenticity. So if I need to call a plumber later tonight, you know it's the real deal. So after this, we are actually gonna be heading to the gym to do Mr. Mexico's workout. But as far as this breakfast, it is delicious. And if you're looking to kind of spice up your uh, breakfast and your eggs, check it out. So it's gym time and pre-workout time. So the pre-workout I'm using is a mango margarita PPK. Really get into the Mexican spear with the margarita. 10 10 10 percent off, link in the description as always. So the workout we are gonna be doing today is IFBB Pro Ismael Martinez's workout. He's five foot five, 185 pounds. So this guy is massive. So he was Mr. Mexico. He competed in the Olympia. And people say he has the best physique in Mexico. So, you know, we gotta try the workout. So we're gonna be doing his shoulder workout. We're gonna see how it is. So I'm gonna put the workout on the screen right now. So I'm just doing the warm up, three sets, six to 10 lateral raises. So fun fact, weightlifting is actually not that big in Mexico. It's actually a lot more cardio focused. Number one being running and then walking. So I wonder if my dad's from Mexico with all that running. Okay, so next up we have heavy lateral raises, four sets, eight to 12 reps. So usually with lateral raises, I won't go really heavy with dumbbells. So I'll usually just start jerking the way up and it's not really the right way to do it. So usually if I do anything heavy, it will always be on a cable. So I'm gonna do a leading cable lateral raise, four sets, eight to 12 reps. So last exercise we are doing is a superset. We're doing seated dumbbell front raise superset with seated lateral raises, eight to 12 reps each. And now when it comes to shoulders, I never do front raises. I think it's a waste of time because you're gonna hit them when you do any sort of pressing movement like a bench press or overhead press. So I wouldn't waste your time doing the front raises. Focus on the lateral head and the rear delt. Alright 
guys, the workout is a wrap. I actually really enjoyed it. It was just like the basic movements. Usually when you see all these like top physique guys, they all focus on the same thing, uh, the bread and butter movements, like the shoulder press, heavy lateral raises, rear delt flies. So you know, you can't go wrong with that workout. So now it's time to go get some. La comida, which means the main meal of the day and is generally served between two and 4 p.m. It's a multi-course meal. So I'm gonna go and get some mole, which is one of the most recognized dishes in all of Mexico, especially for celebrations. To say, to go to a mole means to go to a wedding. Uh, so I looked online and there's no really authentic Mexican restaurants near me besides Taco Bell and Chipotle, and I've been there a number of times on the channel. So I actually found a place decently far away, so we're gonna go pick some up right now and see what it's all about. Holy mole, this thing looks fantastic. Quite a lot of food, but we all need to carb load sometimes. So mole is a very strong flavor, especially the brown one, and it's an acquired taste apparently. So we'll see if I have acquired it. Smell wise, it just smells innocent enough. So we're just gonna go straight with this before we started to add the other components to the dish here. Mm, this is freaking delicious and a lot of chicken. So now moving on to the other side here. We kind of got like a, a Mexican Lunchable here. So we got some uh, orange rice. We got this uh, salad with uh, no dressing. And then this, uh, I believe it's bean. I love a soupy bean. So like it's baked beans. And I got some tortillas. And then they were nice enough to give me some like tamarind juice. It's like roasted tamarind and then they add some water and sugar. So we're gonna give it a shot right now. Damn. It's kind of like a, a sweeter apple juice. Very good though. All right, let's build this taco. So I tend to, you know, overfill my tacos. You know, this is why I love Mexican food. You know, it's an interactive experience. It's not just, it's not just eating. Get some chicken and then we're gonna nail this taco. Mmm. That sauce, you could transfer to a variety of different things. Like that would get the veggie in me, you know what I mean? The flavor profile of this chicken is super intense. Like actually after like half of this bowl, you feel actually very, very full, especially with the rice and the beans. It's just a heavy dish overall, let alone at like two o'clock in the afternoon. Cause typically I save all my calories for later into the day. All right, so lunch is a wrap. Finish the chicken, finish the salad, the rice, left some of the black beans because I don't live alone. Uh, Mexican food is phenomenal. It's very flavorful, but super intense. Uh, you have to kind of like meditate before you eat it because the food is just so heavy. Uh, so I'm probably gonna go in, into a nice food coma and uh, see you guys in a little bit. So one of the main reasons why I ended up doing the Mexico video is because a subscriber from Mexico sent me a big package here of a bunch of different low calorie snacks and her name is Yasmin and take a look at this thing. Like snacks for days, guys, snacks for days. And she even sent me a little like folder here with some laminated paper with a whole write up on all of the stuff and even some pictures on like what to do with some stuff there. So it's a kind of like a school project and you get an A plus. So with me is my sister Victoria and we're gonna pick a few snacks as if we tried them all, this video would be like an hour long and then we're gonna tell you guys what we think. Okay, so after much debate, we have come to four different snacks here. So we got the malanga, some meringue things, some wafer things, and then some cauliflower, which I'll tell you guys along the way as we eat them. And we're gonna start with the malanga first because malanga. there was many different bags of the malanga in this massive box. And you know, I did not realize that the anabolic kitchen hit Mexico until now and it just hit it hard. All right, so is this it, it's is- enchilada flavored. Is it enchilada flavored? So these are supposed to be like potato chips, 84 calories for the entire bag. So that's uh, some pretty good stuff. Oh. It's good. It sounds like it has a pretty good crunch factor. There's a kick to it. Mmm. That's actually amazing. They taste like an elegant Dorito. What would you give this out of 10? 10. I definitely finished the whole bag. Probably they two. Kind of like probably Pringles, all like Pringles. Well, but spicy. Yeah. Don't don't bring this down to Pringle level. Look. Probably the thing I'm most excited for mm -hmm. are these don't worry meringue things. And apparently, so we have cookies and cream, and then we have like a caramel one here. And for the cookies and cream one, you're looking at 87 calories for the entire thing. Now, this is something that I've been fantasizing about my whole entire life. Like to be able to sit down with a whole entire like bin and eat the thing, eat the whole entire thing with no guilt. And then just the name being don't worry, you just got so much reassurance. That seems threatening to me. Does it? I think these are gonna be what is it? pretty deadly. Look like little marshmallows. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. 
Okay, they grace you with a nice little bit of sweetness. What did I just eat? So good. Mmm. No, wait, actually, this one's 64.6 .6 calories for the whole entire thing of the caramel. There you go. Oh man, I get in trouble with these. I feel like you can't get in trouble with these because they're so low in calorie. Don't worry. I'm gonna give those 10. 10. You actually can't go wrong with those. I mean, I, we don't know what's in them because we can't read Spanish. Yeah. I mean, but yeah. if it's that little calories, who cares? Yeah, that's true. Yeah. These are amaranth wafers, and she loves them so much. They're between 40 to 70 calories for the whole entire bag, depending on the flavor. And they are a great, great Greek yogurt vessel, great for smoothie bowls, yogurt, ice cream. Sounds like my type of thing. And these are pink chai flavored, which is intriguing. Cheers. Cheers. I'm trying to read the information here. She said you can get very creative with these things. They're very subtle. Very subtle. I They're feel kind like they like, would add like a texture component like, to a lot of things. These are kind of like what I would want styrofoam to taste like. Out of 10, I want to give these, yeah, you know, I think that's not fair to say like a bad score because this is meant to be eaten with something. So yeah. I'm gonna give it an eight. I'm gonna give it a six and a half. Six and a half? Yeah. Okay, that's okay. fair. Yeah. And I'm moving on to the last thing, which is cauliflower chips. You guys know how I feel about cauliflower. I love to manipulate it. What do you mean cauliflower? Cauliflower. So the whole entire bag, you are looking at 260 calories and this is a, a big bag like, I kind of want to move to Mexico now why are you sniffing it so intensely just eat it it tastes like a pet store smells yes it does make sense to me it's like little like the little pellets that I used to feed my pet lizard I don't love them but I keep on going back to them so that's saying something mm -hmm. so anything like that which is pretty pretty much most things I give over a six so I want to give it a seven out of ten. I think a seven too. Yeah, so definitely the best thing of the day. I would say, you know, I'm gonna say that was the best. The malanga, and then you're looking at the wafer, these uh, meringue things, the wafer, cauliflower chips. Thank you so much, Yasmin. We're gonna try a bunch of the other stuff out. Thank you. And uh, yeah, that was awesome. So that was a snack taste test. All right, guys, so you remember Dylan from the Muhammad Ali video? He's the boxing trainer. So you've done a bunch of different martial arts before, right? Mm -hmm. Have you ever done Lucha Libre, Mexican wrestling? Never done it. Yeah, so today we're gonna try doing some Mexican wrestling warm-ups. I even got the masks. And now the masks I usually use don't have eye holes and they usually have zippers, but this will do. And I can't see a thing. We're gonna look like a bunch of just like Walmart spider man bro. <laughs> the masks uh, evoke images of animals, gods, ancient heroes, and different archetypes. And those things on the mask is what the fighters actually um, portray themselves in their performance. They're no warm up, they're actually pretty difficult. We just took a look at them and uh, we'll see how it goes. We're gonna tie it up. This thing is, I actually can't see a thing. This is definitely cutting the circulation off to my brain right now. Okay, three, two, one, go. Like how do they come? This is like when like wrestlers find the Kama Sutra, man. Like this is some weird shit. <laughs> like that worm yeah. movement is like wrecking my ribs. I don't know what is happening right now. Yeah. Can so something. Oh. Oh. That's some next level cardio. Okay, so next one we're gonna do is we're both gonna hop over and then go into a belly flop, and then Dylan's gonna stay down and roll over to the right. I'm gonna go and fly against. The right side and then do a somersault over him do that four times and we're gonna take turns and i'm gonna go down he's gonna flip over me and uh see what happens here Take a look at that. No freaking joke. This is actually tough. How are you feeling? Lucha Libre, baby. Yeah. No joke. Okay, so we're on to the last exercise. What he's gonna do is he's gonna run towards me. I'm gonna throw him against the wall. He's gonna bounce off the wall and then roll over me. I'm gonna run at him. 
Repeat that a few times. This is a crazy workout. Oh, okay. So that is gonna wrap up the Lucha Libre, Lucha Libre segment. I feel broken. So we're gonna go home and make a pretty anabolic meal. Thank you, Dylan, for being a good sport. I oh helped out with this. I'm actually probably gonna need to come to you for some massage therapy after this. Yeah. This is probably why you did it. That's really why I'm here. Yeah. Businessman. All right guys, so for dinner tonight, we were making some anabolic shrimp tacos. I absolutely love shrimp. They remind me a lot of myself, small lean source protein and finish super, super quick. So here I have marinating eight shrimp right now with some chili powder, paprika, garlic powder, onion powder, cumin, salt, and pepper. So the recipe will be in the description with all the measurements. Here I have some diced bell peppers, onions, a little bit of garlic, and some cilantro. And the star of the show is gonna be these cauliflower tortillas that I came up with that are delicious, 30 calories per wrap. And what you are gonna need is two cups packed of cauliflower rice, and I'm about to put this into the microwave for four minutes. And then you're gonna take it out at the two minute mark, stir it, and then put it back into the microwave for two minutes. And then we are gonna strain it of all of its juices with some cheesecloth. Okay, so we are back. Cauliflower has been in the microwave for four minutes. It's been strained of all the liquids. Now it's time to add the other ingredients. I have the oven preheating at 375 degrees. We're gonna put them in for 10 minutes and then take them out and then flip them and then cook them for an additional seven minutes. For many Mexicans, the final meal of the day, La Cena, is sometimes just a hot drink with some bread, usually served between 7 and 9 p.m. On the weekends, they may go out and hit up a taco stand. So I don't know any streets that have taco stands, but I do know a few corners where I can pick one up. And I think I overloaded these tacos. I actually don't think I'll be able to pick them up at all. And the reason that I use shrimp is because they are the shrimp capital of the world, which is a fun fact. If you guys try making this cauliflower recipe, it's actually very, very tricky. Like, I have screwed this up more times than I haven't. So you really wanna make sure you strain out all of the juices here. These tortillas are way better than regular tortillas, in my opinion, if you get them right. They just have so much flavor. So after I took them out of the oven, I put them on the pan, and I pan seared them on both sides to get a little bit crispy, so it's easier to kind of pick it up. Oh, my ribs are so sore from the wrestling. Oh. I feel like the warm up was actually more dangerous than the actual wrestling fights. And this is a very low calorie dish, so each tortilla is around 30 to 45 calories. Mine only made five today instead of six. And then the eight shrimp is only 120 calories, and then pretty much the vegetables are negligible, and the avocado, I use like only 40 grams of it. So not many calories, and it fills you up. Wrapping up the night with a pretty potent pineapple margarita. You wanna try it? Yeah. I mean, with that salsa verde and that, that mole sauce, we gotta compete somehow tonight. Whoa. What do you think? It's pretty potent, yeah? Holy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I'm gonna be nursing that a little bit tonight. But to end off this video, we're gonna do a little bit of a pinata thing right over there. As you can see, we have a donut pinata. And a pinata is a very big thing for celebrations in Mexico. It's for like children's birthday parties. Close. Am I, am I even Close. like in the vicinity yeah. right now? Say hot or cold. Yeah. That was hot. Hot, hot. This is, this is it. Yeah. This is it. Did I get it? So it turns out I actually broke that thingy that holds it up. So this ain't going back up. So I'm actually gonna have to hit it here. And I guess I'm gonna have to hit it harder. Isn't that right, mom? Yes, definitely, def definitely harder. So if you hit it hard enough, you're gonna find your way through. Oh, Did I get it? You're right in it. I'm in it? Yeah, you broke the donut. I'm in? You're in. Oh, I'm in. I can feel it. Yeah. Got some, what is this, chocolates? Yeah. Can I see what I eat or no? Yes. You can see what you eat. All right, guys. Well, that is going to wrap up the video. If you guys enjoyed it, please give it a like. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. And let me know in the comments down below what country you guys want to see next. And I'll see you guys in the next one.